um, MRI of the shoulder. Shoulder um, is uh, very complex, uh, of course. Um, and why we are using the MRI now? Um, we had some uh, general overview, uh, overview using the CT scan. Uh, how a CT scan is not the best uh, thing to do, not the best study uh, to do uh, in case of the joints. It would show bones well, even better than the MRI, but all other structures are hard to visualize. Um, so we'll get uh, slowly section by section through the uh, shoulder now. Of course, what uh, you can think about, what is in the shoulder? and how to look uh, at least in, the pic in these pictures. This, this is how we would cut uh, the body, let's say, yes, uh, digitally, um, in order to obtain this view. Yes, so we are here. Yes, we are just above the clavicle, as you can see. And <coughs> uh, so what we can see here is just basically the skin. Um, and we see the uh, beginning of the trapezius muscle. Yes, now what else is important? In these pictures that I will show you, <coughs> uh, there is a, a legend, yes? So the um, arteries, veins uh, are in the blue, muscles are in pink, tendons are in, uh, I'm not good in colors, in brown. Uh, in brownish pink we have nerves, uh, ligaments uh, in green, in violet uh, nerves and vessels, uh, and in yellow we have bones. Yes, of course you do not need to remember this. This is just uh, an explanation why uh, its structure, the label to its structure has uh, such color, not the other. Okay. <sighs> okay. So, let's go. Mm. No, maybe.